Champions Way is proud to announce the release of our most powerful martial arts management solution to date, Perfect Mind 3. Please note that this is an upgrade for our Perfect Mind version 2 users. We will have an upgrade available for our version 1 users very soon and we'll keep you posted. Some of the features that are going to be included in this video today uh, are enhancements in the following areas. Membership management in just three clicks. Our new quick edit scheduler app. Multi-membership and multi-style support. A new enhanced UI for creating a better user experience. Enhanced rank promotion functionality. The new class report, a powerful and interactive report for your attendance. And our automated ABC student rating system. Beginning Monday, September 24th, we'll be presenting a live webinar on the features and details of Perfect Mind 3. This will be at 11 a.m. Pacific Time or 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. To access this class, visit championsway.com, click Support, then Live Training. So let's get to the new features. Now, you may ask yourself, well, which version of Perfect Mind am I currently using? Am I using version 1 or version 2? Well, uh, the answer is easy. In version 1, contacts are separated into two separate tabs, students and leads. We consolidated those tabs into just contacts for version 2. This is how you'll be able to tell. Perfect Mind 3 boasts a beautiful, clean and sleek new interface. It allows for much smoother navigation and a more intuitive layout. One of these changes is the shifting of contact views that previously were a pick list in the right hand corner to the left hand side clear and visible in this panel, you still have access to all of your lists, active students, those absent in the last seven days, an exam in the next 30 days, former students, leads, and others. You can still edit your views easily. However, we've replaced the edit and delete buttons with icons, a pencil for edit, and a trash can for delete. When you need to add a contact, simply click the green plus sign up here. The biggest and, more, and probably most visible change other than the new interface is membership management. Previously, all the details of your memberships for your students were at the top of the page in just text boxes. Well, now they're more visual. So when you sell a membership and you go to the student page, you'll be able to see the membership name, the program it's linked to, whether it's ongoing or if it's a limited membership, meaning it has an expiration date, then the time left will be displayed here in the center, year, month, and days. If the membership's in good standing, it's going to be green. Another big change is access to the student billing. So if you need to, um, you know, check on the status of an invoice or process of payment, previously you've had to click on one or two other tabs to get there. No longer. Simply click on the membership and all invoices related to it will appear. So if you need to process payments or refund or forfeit any invoices, it can all be done right here. So I have a completed invoice that I need to process a refund for. All I have to do is mouse over actions and then scroll down to refund payment. If I need to print a receipt for a previous invoice, I can scroll down and click print receipt. The details of the invoice will be displayed and then I just click print. For processing any, any invoices, just find the invoice I need to process a payment for, mouse over actions, and click process now. I can process the full amount or I can process a partial amount. Choose my payment method and then I would click OK. Any time that you need to waive a monthly invoice, maybe because you're freezing the account for a month or because a student won't be attending, mouse over actions and the option of course is just forfeit. You can forfeit the full amount or you can forfeit a partial amount. The payment processing has become that easy. Now, when it comes to enrolling, I'm going to choose our uh, a lead here. So my lead has their name and birthday and maybe some other details added to Perfect Mind. And I'm ready to enroll. Previously, you had to go to memberships and you had to uh, enroll from there. You can do it now right from their page. Simply click Add Membership. It will take you to memberships and I'm going to find the membership that I want to enroll them in. We're going to choose Adult Karate. Click Buy Now. And it takes me to the shopping cart. 
I'm going to choose when their scheduled payments will begin. If I want the student to be billed on the first of every month, I can do so. I can add their credit card or other uh, you know, payment information here. And one change we've made to the uh, checkout process is for memberships, you can now choose when the membership is going to activate. So if by default it'll be today, but if this membership actually isn't going to begin until the first of the next month, for example, I can choose this. And of course, you can still manually override the price and apply discounts as you see fit. Well, I'm ready to check out. I'll be prompted if I want to make this person become an active contact, meaning they're going to become an active student. Absolutely. Click yes. I can print a receipt, or if I'm a business that is trying to go paperless whenever possible, I have the option to click send receipt. This will email their receipt to the email address that's on file. They'll get it instantly. So even before the enrollment process is complete and they have a smartphone, they're going to see that receipt come straight to their phone. And I can print their contract. Click print agreement. And I'll be prompted to choose membership agreement. This will merge the student information and all the details of their membership and their payment method right to the contract. I can print it off and have them sign. Well, my enrollment process isn't complete yet because now I have the ability to book them for their classes. So because I enrolled this student in a karate program, I can now book them for their classes. So here I've got an adult karate, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays. And I can book them right here. Just click book. Done. I've enrolled this student. I have sold them a membership. I've scheduled their billing. And now they're booked for their classes. Isn't that great? Now, the membership management uh, will take it even further. So when a membership is getting ready to expire, whether it's a limited membership or maybe it's a punch pass or a, a drop-in or sometimes referred to as a countdown, the status of the membership is going to change color. It's going to change to an orange color. So this is a 10-day pass that is now down to only two sessions. So it's now changed color. So it looks like I need to renew this student for this membership. Well, I can renew them right from here. Just click the Renew button. It's going to load up my membership for me in the shopping cart. Again, I can choose when this membership is going to activate, so when the renewal is going to kick in. I can choose the payment method they have on file or choose any payment method that I like. And then I can check out. Your renewal process is in two clicks. Now, one change that you, will, you should take note of is for memberships. A field you're going to see now on all your membership records is program slash style. This means that you can now link your memberships to your specific programs or to your styles. This is going to make for better tracking. It's going to make uh, for actually better processes overall through automations, for promotions, and again, better metrics. You'll be able to see more details about all your current students based on program and membership, how many you've sold, and who sold them. We highly recommend that you take a moment and to go through all your memberships and link them to your programs. And it's really this simple. Once you click on the membership you need to edit, click the edit button. And then you can click on the look up here and select the program that's associated with this particular membership. That's all you have to do. Save and you're done. Again, we strongly recommend that this is an update you make to all your memberships. Now, speaking of programs and ranks, here's another addition that we've made. In settings, under the apps section under martial arts, previously there were programs and ranks. Well, we've consolidated it into one place, program slash style. All your programs are here. And one of the items that you had to complete previously was for adding the progression method to each of your programs, meaning what is the criteria for a student to advance from one rank to the next. Is it by time or was it by attendance? Well, we've now added a third option, by time and attendance. 
So if a student is required to attend a specific number of days and also attend a specific number of classes before they could be either considered ready or almost ready to graduate, you can now set up this criteria. So after this is done, if you need to make this change, all your ranks related to this program will be displayed below. So as an example, let's make an edit to our, uh, our white belt. This is my karate program. This is white belt. And one other addition is the ability to enable stripes for this rank. In Perfect Mind version 2, stripes was just a simple text box that you would, you would update by just add, simply adding the number, that the, of the number of stripe that the student was at for that particular rank. Well, we've taken it further. So by enabling stripes, we now have a section called stripe progression. I can type in the number of stripes per rank, the amount of attendances per stripe, and the days between the last stripe awarded and their exam. Frequently in schools, there may be a, a time period of, say, two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks between when a, a student is generally awarded their last stripe before they would be testing. So as an example, I put in 14 days. Now for the rank progression. So because this, uh, this method is by time and attendance, I need to fill in the appropriate fields below. So we'll start with days. So for white belt, we'll say that it's 90 days before they could be ready for, for their exam, but 80 days for them to be considered almost ready. 24 classes to be ready for testing. 20 classes to be considered almost ready. Now, because of this, Perfect Mind will update the readiness for all of your students on a daily basis, and this is done automatically. It will then scan Perfect Mind for all of the attendances for your students, how long they've been in a particular rank, and based on your criteria here, it will update their readiness. And the three options are not ready, almost ready, and ready. We'll show you this on the student page in a moment. Again, the settings of programs and ranks is very important if you want to enjoy the, uh, the automation features here in Perfect Mind. So please take note of any edits that you might need to make for your programs and your ranks. Now, for promotions, there is a field, I'm sorry, a view, called Student by Readiness. And again, every day Perfect Mind is going to be automatic, automatically updating the readiness. So if students meet the criteria for, say, time and attendance, or if it's just time or attendance, their readiness will, uh, will be updated. So this view will group my students by their readiness, ready on top, then not ready, and then I'm going to have students that are also almost ready. So if I wanted to book any of my students for an exam, I can simply check everyone that I need to book, and I can click Schedule. This will navigate me to my calendar. And I could either add a new event, or if I have my exam already on the calendar, I could open it up here. It has now booked all my students for this exam automatically. When the exam comes, I could open up the exam and I could change their status to attended. And this is done. Now, if I want to promote my students, there's two ways to go about this. I can promote them manually by checking the students that I want to promote, checking them, and then I can click Promote. This will group them by the different styles or programs, and I can now promote their rank or I can promote, promote their stripe right from here. There's also a more automated functionality. And if I mouse over my name in the upper right hand corner, I can then select exam update. Any exams that have occurred in the past will be displayed here. I just have to click on the exam. And then all the students that were either booked or they were attended to the exam will be listed here. Because I attended these students to the exam, it's going to display their name, program, their current rank, the date of the exam, and past exam is already checked. So. If there was anyone here that did not either pass the exam or maybe they didn't actually attend, I could just uncheck the box 
and then click confirm. This will promote all these students to the next rank. Now, one final detail about ranks. We have cleaned up the, uh, the contact page layout considerably. So in addition to the more visual membership, uh, uh, visual display of memberships, uh, the contact information section has been moved up. And it's not much of a scroll down to the bottom of the section. Now, a new section here is for ranks. In addition to Perfect Mind 3 supporting multi-membership, it also supports multi-style. So any students that are enrolled in more than one program that have ranks associated with it, those ranks will be displayed here. Very clear and concise. Not only can I promote them straight from, from ranks, but I can, also, I can also click on the rank and all the details associated with this rank are going to be here. The program it's linked to, their readiness, what their next rank is going to be, the day they were last promoted, if they have any stripes due, it will be displayed here and when, and also their current stripe that they're on, and then the attendance records associated with this style. So the day they last attended, their classes since last promotion, and others. Now, one other feature that we've added is the Quick Edit Scheduler app. It's important, of course, that all the classes in your school are on your calendar. This way you can either manually check them in or if you want to automate your attendance obviously you can do it this way. Your classes must be on the calendar. But once your classes are all on your calendar you can take advantage of the scheduler app. Underneath the rank section there is a new section called schedules. Everything that this student is booked for is going to be displayed here. I can navigate to this class straight from, uh, from the app and make any changes that I like here. Or I can cancel a booking for any class that the student is currently booked for. So for instance, Bluebelt is something that this student will no longer be attending. I can click cancel, click confirm. It's now been removed from their schedule. Likewise, I can now book them for any classes. Provided that they're on my calendar, I just click add. And now I can book them. Click book and it's done. Scheduling your students for classes is this easy. If you're going to be using Perfect Mind to take your attendance, and of course we recommend that you do, we have a new report for you. And it is the new class report. You can find it in the attendance folder. Click class report. All you have to do is choose the day and the class that you'd like to view attendance records for. Click Preview. It's going to display all the students who have attended, their student rating, the program, the day they became ready or when they will become ready for, prom uh, for promotion, the day they were last promoted, and how many classes since their last promotion. This is an interactive report, meaning I can click on the student name and it will navigate me straight to their student page, or I can also promote them right from the report. This is great if you're going to be using a tablet such as an iPad and you want to be more mobile. Loading up this report will give you the ability to promote your students from wherever you are. If any students attended a class that was outside of their usual program, that will be, they'll be considered makeup students and displayed here in this section. Any students booked for class but that did not attend will be in the not attended section. And of course we have other sections for need info. This is especially handy if you've updated a student page with uh, uh, something that is needed such as maybe a, a new void check or a new email address or a waiver form. Anything that you add to the need info section on the student page will be displayed here on the class report. Stripes due. Any students due for a stripe, it'll display what stripe that they are due for and you can actually promote their stripe right here on the report. Further, any students that are uh, coming up for renewal will be listed in the need renewal section. It will include their expiry date if it's a limited membership or if they're on a punch pass it'll display the number of sessions left for that membership. This is a great report. You can also print the report right from here or if you need to export any data you have that option as well. Speaking of the student rating, the ABC system is one of the best retention tools in Perfect Mind. 
It is based on the number of attendances by a student in the previous 30 days. And to set up that criteria for student rating, you would need to simply go to the settings menu. And once in settings, you'll go down to the app section and you're going to want to click on martial arts. And then choose attendance rating. Click on your automation record and review the criteria here. So again, this is minimum attendance in the previous, in the last 30 days. So minimum classes attended in the last month. So what is the criteria for an A student versus a B student versus C? Obviously your A students and your B students are the more enthusiastic and motivated students. So you just set the number of classes as a minimum. So in this case, eight per month for an A student, four per month for a B student, two per month for a C student, and anything less than that, they're considered non-active. The student rating will be automatically updated by Perfect Mind every day. What this will give you is a snapshot of where all your students stand in terms of their attendance. There is a view called Students by Attendance Rating. I can click on this and it will now sort them. This is such valuable information for any school owner. My A and my B students are in good shape, but my C students these are students that are most likely to be quitting on me next month. How valuable is it, is it for you to know who is going to cancel before they actually do it? This is one of the best retention tools you can use in Perfect Mind. Lastly, we have, uh, with the launch of Perfect Mind 3, we have our new Help Center. And it's located here in the upper right hand corner. Simply click on Help and it will take you to the Perfect Mind Help Center. Complete with instructions, screenshots, and videos on almost every module and every aspect of this program. Well organized by its table of contents, you can drill down on setting up, contact management, attendance and calendar, rank promotions, and many more. It also features great search function functionality. If I wanted to for instance, look for mail merge. I can type in what I'm looking for and all the topics related to what I have searched for will be displayed. We strongly recommend that you take the time to get familiar with our help center. You're going to find that it's going to answer a lot of questions when you need them and when you need them. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to, to uh, watch this video on the, the new features and enhancements of Perfect Mind 3. We're very excited for this new product. And if you are uh, interested in making upgrade from version 2 to version 3, please be sure to watch this video carefully. Also access our help center. It's going to prepare you best for that upgrade. And when you're ready to do so, please contact us at Champions Way and we will coordinate this for you. Thanks for your ongoing support and enjoy using Perfect Mind 3.